In my humble opinion, I believe the Alang and Zuna datograph is the greatest chronograph ever made in the form of a wristwatch. It is very rare for me to find a caliber that gives me the same feeling I get when I look at a datograph. It's only when you flip this watch over you realize it's something special. A little bit about Singer for those who aren't aware of the brand. The California-based company are known for creating some of the best custom Porsches in the industry. As a car enthusiast, I recognize that the brand adds their personal style in their vehicles while still having the perfect balance of respecting the brand's identity. Although at times, pushing the boundaries as we've seen with the 911 rally concept. While looking at the Track 1, it seems like a cool racing inspired design. It's only when you flip this watch over you realize this is no ordinary chronograph. The Track 1 clearly has inspiration from racing cars from the 1970s. Now the pushers really stand out from the crowd. The positions are at 10 and 2, no pun intended. This is the London edition with the beautiful blue dial and orange accents for better legibility. The Track 1 is a central register chronograph so you get no subdials disrupting the legibility. The case is beautifully finished. As soon as you pick it up, you notice, although the watch is big, it's very light on the wrist. Thanks to the great 5 titanium case, even though the watch is quite big on the wrist, it's very comfortable. Now for your reference, my wrist is 6.5 inches. The Track 1 comes in at 43mm by 15mm thick. The lug to lug distance, which was kind of hard to figure out, but I got approximately 48.8mm. The watch is big on the wrist, but I would argue that is part of the charm of pieces like the Track 1 or the Datograph. Now let's flip the watch over and discuss this amazing caliber. Heads up, I have a lot to say about this movement. Until I saw this watch in person, I probably wouldn't have realized Singer made good watches. This caliber is what made me respect and desire a watch from the brand. Most car and watch collaborations usually fall short in my personal opinion. It seems car brands want to make a quick buck, slap on an affordable Swiss caliber just so they could label themselves as Swiss made, and the result is usually a watch that is very basic with a very high price tag. This isn't the case for Singer. As they do with their cars, they went all in with the aging graph caliber. A couple of things to note, this is not an in-house caliber nor do they claim it is. This caliber was only seen once before. Another thing to note, this is in fact an automatic caliber. Like many of you, I was also left very confused. How is this an automatic watch when clearly there's no rotor? I then discovered the genius behind the aging graph. You see, the love for manual wine calibers is a three-way relationship between the wearer and the watch. The ability to give life to the watch every morning, the tactical feel of winding the movement and operating the chronograph, and finally the architecture of the movement. There's nothing wrong with an automatic chronograph, but unfortunately the rotor is covering half of the movement at all times. The aging graph has a rotor underneath the dial rather than on the back, giving us the ability to fully enjoy the movement while still being an automatic chronograph for those who prefer it over manual wind. The architecture of the movement is very different to the datograph, although the visuals are equally as beautiful. You can stare at this movement all day and never get bored. It's a little city comprised of 477 different components. There's a reason why this caliber took over 10 years to develop. It's truly remarkable and one of the very few calibers I would consider alongside the datograph. One thing I want to mention is Singer timepieces are quite hard for you to get because they're produced in very limited quantities. If you guys are interested in any Singer timepiece, make sure you head over to today's sponsor ExquisiteTimepieces.com and make sure you check out all of their other brands, their authorized dealers for many many brands such as Omega, Grand Seiko, Blompa, Breguet and many more. So if you guys are interested in any timepiece, make sure you hit up Exquisite Timepieces or give them a call and they'll assist you in buying your next luxury timepiece. 